Navigating your way through a divorce is not an easy thing to do and can really take a toll on your finances. So here to help sort through all the tricky stuff is divorce attorney Holly Moore. Welcome, Holly. Hi, good morning. Thank you so much for having me. So glad you're here. We hear you've experienced a tragic loss yourself. So can you tell us a little bit about your backstory? Yes, absolutely. Uh, when I was 16 years old, my big brother, who was my best friend in the whole world, um, he was tragically killed in a car accident. And so, of course, you know, had to navigate that that tragic loss um, from a teenager and, you know, still, of course, navigating it today. Wow, that that's hard to go through. And somehow that led you wanting to explore the legal path. It did. Yeah. I mean, I think I didn't always know that just right off the top of my head, but um, I became a divorce lawyer and I've been been a lawyer for 16 years now. And it really wasn't until about five years ago that I recognized the connection between the loss that I had experienced um, in my own life and and what I do for my clients and what they're going through. And, you know, through some help from some mentors and business coaches and things like that, I realized that. Um, I certainly was no stranger to sort of having all these dreams and plans for my life. Yes, that sounds very relatable. So in the event of a divorce, how important is it to review and update financial goals? Well, it's very important. I mean, I think it's very important for all of us in general, but especially um, in a divorce and after a divorce, you know, your your financial portfolio likely has changed quite a bit because usually you would have to pay, you know, somewhere around half of those investments or, or um, you know, part of that financial po uh, portfolio out to your spouse. And so maybe, you know, as the closer that you're getting to retirement, um, and maybe the plan that you had to be able to retire at a certain age, that is sometimes going to change quite significantly. So reviewing that regularly is very helpful to see where you are in terms of your plans. What, in your opinion, are some strategies to handle disagreements with an ex? Strategies to handle disagreements with an ex, I always recommend to my clients to communicate using what we call the BIFF method, B-I-F-F, -F, be brief, informative, friendly, and firm. Using that method generally kind of takes away the emotional aspect of communication, which is generally what leads to additional conflict. And we know there's some paperwork that's important to hold on to to legally protect yourself. Can you talk about that? Yes, absolutely. Divorce litigation is very paper heavy. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, I wish there was just like two or three pieces of paper that I could tell my clients, hey, make sure you have this and we're going to be fine if you do. But the reality is, is especially if there is investments involved, especially if there's a business involved, basically you're going to need every financial statement from every month for every single asset, debt, bank account, you name it, for probably like three to five years. So it's a lot of paperwork that is is needed to be gathered up and, and given over to the other side. So being organized definitely is very helpful in that regard. And it sounds like people would definitely need help from someone like yourself. So where can people go for more information if they're facing these kind of issues? Absolutely, yes. We, um, You can go to our website, morefamilylawgroup.com, and we're always honored and, and happy to help. All right. Holly Moore, thank you so much for your time with us this morning. Thank you. And we'll be right back.